we have choices about where our electricity comes from. So we have gas, we have oil, we have nuclear, we have coal, and we have the renewable energies. Uh, and in one way or another, we've got to use them all. And it's about using them as efficiently as we can. With the big energy users for now of coal, oil and gas, as well as the climate issue, we have an energy security issue. So those materials are only available in countries like Russia, in Saudi Arabia. We don't have much of our own resource anymore. So it's considered not secure. What will happen in the future when they get short of supply? We may just not get it. We may simply, our lights may go out. People are very worried about what happens when the wind doesn't blow. And for that, that's why we also have to invest in clever grids, our intelligent grid, and also about storage systems, but also balancing it with other solutions. So photovoltaics, uh, biogas, biomass, etc. So there's a balance of renewables. What is obvious about wind turbines is they are very visible in the landscape we put them on hilltops. And some people say that they spoil the landscape. And I say, we've got to wake up and change our view on that. If we don't put something in the landscape like wind turbines, we'll destroy our landscape through climate change. At the moment, wind energy is the only commercially viable, sustainable source of electricity available to man. There are a lot of options that might be available in the future, fusion, wave energy, tidal energy, but they're not commercially viable. So today, wind is the only sustainable solution. Nuclear is the other one, and nuclear has a list of problems. It will leave us with a legacy thousands of years from now that our children's children's children have to clear up. Wind energy, on the other hand, we can put up a wind plant in about four weeks. It can be generating electricity for those 2,000 homes in four weeks. And if we find a better solution 20 years from now, we can take it down in four weeks and leave nothing in the landscape. And that's the beauty of wind energy.